Hello lovelies and welcome to the new format for my YouTube videos. Basically they're just going to be voiceovers. It's just easier for me because like I just, I don't know, I haven't really wanted to post on here. I've been mostly just posting on Patreon and so any videos and pictures, um, things like that, articles, are just all going to be shared like on Patreon. Um, so I'll just come on here from time to time just to talk about some stuff. Um, I did make like an Amazon storefront because as you guys know, I buy all of my products. 99% um, of like what you guys see on this channel, I just buy with my own money. Um, and so I just like started to make like a storefront and basically it just like shows everything that I've bought within this like last month. Um, I might go through to June and maybe May as well because I'm just always buying stuff. Um, so majority of it are like supplements, um, skincare stuff like serums, lotions, and then they'll just be like a mixture of just like random stuff I've been buying that are kind of like cute. I don't know. So if you guys want like more of the updated stuff, uh, the link to that is already posted. Um, but I wanted to talk a little bit about j just like the things like just the drawbacks to like starting a skincare journey um there's a lot of false information out there um when i started this journey i actually thought that by taking glutathione i was getting an internal like sunscreen so i thought i wouldn't have to put sunscreen on my body because i was going to like a beach music festival so we'd be you know standing out on the beach no shade waiting for different bands to play like all day so I was a little worried about like my skin. So I was just looking for, yeah, a really good sunscreen that would cause me not to tan. Um, and so I started like glutathione as an internal sunscreen. As you guys know, that is not how it works. It doesn't matter how long you've been taking glutathione. Um, if you go into the sun, either with glutathione and even with like different sunscreens, like you're still gonna tan. Um, so it, I don't know, there's just like so many lies. Um, so one of the things that I would recommend for anyone getting into this is that kind of like make sure you're getting your information from a lot of different sources. Don't just take like one source and run with it. Like that's what I did when I started this. Um, and it was so funny because like I just ordered glutathione from Amazon and I think the first bottle I got, like the dosage was only maybe 50 milligrams to 100 milligrams like per pill. That's basically nothing. <laughs> like that will do nothing for you. Um, even people who take 1,000 to 2,000 milligrams of glutathione, they only go to those levels if they're also getting like glutathione IVs or if they've been on glutathione religiously for like, we're talking 72 months, like nonstop. That's like a maintenance type dose so I don't know there's just so much just misinformation on it um and then another thing that I thought was the truth was that I could just take reduced glutathione um I would say about 90% of the glutathione you'll see online right now is reduced glutathione and uh, it is cheaper but it's not bioavailable, meaning that your body will basically pee out majority of it. It's like people who take a lot of different vitamins um, and then like their pee will turn like weird colors, like bright yellow or bright green. It's just like a lot of those nutrients um, your body can't actually absorb. So it pees it out. Um, and so with reduced glutathione, that's kind of what happens. Um, so it took me like three or four months of like spending my money like basically throwing it away, trying all these different products um, until I figured out that like, unless you can't take reduced glutathione unless you're having it administered through an IV or if you're doing a rectal syringe or if you're using a nebulizer. So, oof, it was just a lot of money wasted. <laughs> just so much money wasted. So again, if you're going to go into this, like, just please learn from a lot of different sources. Don't take any one source as gold, whether you're reading something or watching videos, um, even watching videos on YouTube. At the time, I didn't know it, but a lot of the people that I was watching also like owned businesses. So it's like, 
It's like wanting to buy like the best laundry detergent and then going to Tide's YouTube and watching like the commercials that they put out about Tide. So basically that's what I was doing. I was like buying my glutathione and taking advice from people who are also selling it. So I mean, some of the information just just wasn't true. Um, so that was a lot of money wasted, uh, which brings me um, just basically to the next topic of advice or just things like I wish I hadn't done. Um, and it's when it comes like to money, um, you definitely just want to buy however long you think your journey is going to be. So if you want to commit to six months and if you don't see any changes from six months, then you know, you're just going to give up. Like, that's fine. Cause like a lot of people, it's a, like, it's a huge commitment. <laughs> I don't know what that noise was I just made, but it's like a big commitment. So not like buying a year's worth of glutathione all at once. Like that's a lot of money. So people who give it six months, I think that's fair. When I started, I was giving it three months, which really is unrealistic. Um, you really don't see any change within three months. Like no one's going to be like, Oh my gosh, what are you doing? The only thing uh, that changed for me in the three months was that I was using topicals as well. And so the tan that I had gotten from the music festival, <laughs> even though I was on glutathione and I thought glutathione was an internal sunscreen, obviously I got really, really, really dark at the music festival. So it was just funny to me. Um, it's like, I don't know, like that totally like debunked like most of the articles I've read on glutathione. Um, so I learned the hard way. Uh, but also like within the three months, I saw such a big change in my skin tone because I was like basically getting that perma tan, that tan that was like on the first layer of my skin. I basically lightened that. That's really easy to do within three months. So just to let you guys know, if you really want to see a difference in your skin, um, majority of it is not going to be like completely through all of your layers. Um, that takes months, months, months. I didn't see like an actual change in all over my body, like deep within my skin until like month eight and month nine. And that's when I got really excited about it. I ramped everything up. So if you're going to put your money into anything, I would say just get enough like for six months. Um, and I'm saying this just because sometimes like buying all these supplements, it does get kind of pricey. I was paying as I went. So I've, like once I would run out, I would just get some more. Um, and I was doing that like from month to month. It's really just easier to save your money and buy everything that you need right off the bat because a lot of the places I was buying from, sometimes I'd go to buy, they'd be out of stock um, or something would happen with the shipping. Um, so I wasn't consistent there. And then like the biggest thing is that like I ran out of money. I would say like a year two, like the first year I was on and off with it. I had some setbacks that like kind of just... I don't know, just like upset me because I put, I had like done so great for the first eight to nine months. And then around like month 11, like I stopped. Um, and yeah, that kind of just like messed up things. I just had a huge lifestyle change. So I was basically my second year on glutathione. You guys can't see me, but like I'm holding up like the finger parentheses. <laughs> so that whole month, I just had to stop my voice recording for a second. Um, but yeah, so my second month or second year on glutathione, basically I was only taking it consistently maybe for two months at a time. Um, the rest of that second year, I was just using heavy duty, like skin peels, like the type of skin peels that will make people think you are a lizard person. Um, they were crazy. Yeah, they're, they are kind of painful just in that when the skin is kind of loose, you can't help it peel off or you will like give yourself hyperpigmentation. I definitely have spots where I just, I, I got impatient and like I would peel it off and then I'd have hyperpigmentation for like six months, like this dark spot. Anywho, um, so I was experimenting with that for most of the second year and then now I'm getting into my third year and I feel like I've made like so many errors, but I did like a lot of things right that I feel like I can, I can speak on this like really confidently because like I've tried, I feel like everything in between. Um, still to this day, the only thing I haven't tried are IVs. Um, 
And I'm not against IVs. It's just that what we've found is that most people who are doing IVs are still supplementing with glutathione like every day, like on their own at home. So they're either doing liposomal glutathione or acetyl. So it's like, okay, well, why am I going to do this if I still have to like take glutathione like every day? Like, I don't know. Taking the IV just, it wasn't like the huge game changer that I thought it was going to be. So speaking of money, I just, I just highly recommend anyone starting, um, just save up your money first. Um, one of the ways that was like the most helpful for me for now is like my third year, you know, doing glutathione, but actually starting with it consistently because the second year I just, I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't consistent at all, um, is that I got a second job and I mean, it really, really, really helped because I already had my first job that obviously helped to supplement my income and keep the lights on and everything. This second job, basically I just planned it around my life in like hours that I could do. And I just, I wanted to like shoot for at least 16 to 25 hours with this second job a week. And I was like, okay, I'll make enough money that I can buy everything that I need and I can quit this job after like a month or two. And so honestly, it worked really, really well for me. It was, it was hard working two jobs, like for the two months that I did it, but I made a lot of money. It was great. <laughs> so I made the money that I needed to basically fund my, my glutathione. And so I don't know. I just, I don't know why I didn't think of that before, but if you just grind for like a month or two, if you can get a second job, um, and obviously the second job has to be something that works into your everyday life. So if you're already working during the day, obviously this would have to be either something that you do on your days off or something that you do kind of in the evening, but that just, uh, it just helped so, so, so much. Um, but yeah, it, definitely sucked for like the month or two months that I did it, but I just, I highly, highly, highly recommend going that route, getting the money that you need and then, um, picking your supplier. So before that, like if you, I don't know about experimenting with different glutathions cause like trying a glutathione for like a week or even like one bottle, like isn't enough to really know if it works really. You're just going to be doing a lot of research and then you're just gonna be like, okay, this is what I'm gonna buy. <laughs> um, and then just buying a lot of that and sticking to your habit. Um, another thing that I wish I would have done was like, just like get like a habit app, like something to help remind you at different times of when to take your stuff. So whether you're doing rectal syringes um, once or twice a day, or taking a liposomal glutathione or acetyl, just like set a timer and get into the habit of doing it. It shouldn't be like a huge thing. Like I was kind of just doing it willy nilly. So all throughout the day, I just kind of had to keep up with different times of what to take. The easiest way to do this and in a way that you know that you're going to do it for long term is to just like set the habit. So if it's first thing in the morning, this is like the first thing you do, you take your glutathione. And then I wouldn't take it right before bed because obviously there's going to be some nights where you're out, some nights you're getting in later. Um, I would try, like, ideally shoot for, like, a couple hours before bed. So it's, like, a wind down time, kind of, and it's just easier to keep up with it. Um, but, yeah, I think just making sure that you save up for it so you can actually get a good quality glutathione is what is going to save you it's just so much time and so much energy. So if rectal, like rectal syringes, I recommend those if you really wanted to do IVs. IVs are going to be kind of uncomfortable. You know, someone's going to be pricking you. You're going to have to give your time to it, sit. You're going to have to, you know, go someplace where they might judge you. It, it's going to be a whole production. Um, if you're willing to do that once or twice a week, then I think you probably could handle doing a rectal syringe, but it is really time consuming. Um, rectal syringe is just not something that I want to do right now. Like I just want to kind of take my acetyl pills or take my liposomal and just be done with it. <laughs> um, for those of you who are like, like money, you don't have a lot of it for this. Um, I would say just getting a big bag of reduced glutathione and making your own liposomal glutathione from that. If you don't want to buy, you know, 
bottles on bottles on bottles of liposomal um because yeah now that i think of it not every place has enough um yeah glutathione to even buy like enough for a six month but anyways um if you do that i just i found that really 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 helpful i do have the directions and the mixtures up on my patreon for making your own um liposomal glutathione at home the only drawback to making the glutathione is that it only stays good for one week so usually i pick like a sunday like so if you're going to be at home or doing your meal prep um give yourself time on that sunday to make enough glutathione just to get you through the week and this glutathione has to stay refrigerated so you have to make sure that either if you're going to be away from home for like a night or two nights you have to bring it with you keep it refrigerated but I mean, it still is way cheaper than um, buying tons of acetylglutathione or liposomal or doing IVs. It's just, um, it just takes that time one day a week. So yeah, I hope this was helpful and I'm going to end this here.